Investors in Kenya is facing significant delays in the approval of its land master plan by the county government of Kiambu. This delay jeopardizes potential investments totaling to 16 billion shillings and the creation of 4,500 jobs in Kenya. Preston Mendahol, the chief operation operating officer and Kenya country head at Rendavo, expressed concerns over the situation. He decried that despite the requirement for Tatu City to update its land use master plan every three years, a submission made one and a half years ago remains unapproved. The special economic zone responsible for over 20,000 jobs since the year 2021 fears these delays may deter international investors. The public purpose land is for that public purpose. Tattoo City adheres to Kenyan and international best practices in urban planning. The Tattoo City Master Plan has 103 acres of land set aside for public purpose use. The land is available for public amenities, such as hospitals, schools, and police and fire stations. The Land Act of Kenya provides that if the government requires land for public purpose, then a compulsory acquisition process must follow meaning that the land must first be acquired by the government through a process of just and equitable compensation to the landowner, in this case, Tattoo City. In short, if the government wants the land, if it needs the land, it has to buy it. 